So, good afternoon, friends, trading friends. Um, today, in this video, I am going now to talk with you what is now happening in uh, Bitcoin. It's mm, just the right moment. Um, maybe after this video, it will be something around 30 minutes ago or 40 minutes ago. Um, and I divide this video into three parts. The first one is the fundamentals, which fundamentals are impacting especially also uh, Bitcoin, not only the general sentiment that's bearish, but today's special and also tomorrow's fundamental data. It could be useful for you too. The second part is I will show you where we exactly are now in our roadmap and the location like a compass and the last part is a trading strategy this trading strategy could be interesting for the bears and also for the bulls meaning that on lower time frames you can in every time frame use this strategy and uh, adjust the settings manually i will show you it will be very very simple but um, also in days we have consolidations or if let's say on daily or hourly chart the market is bullish but on lower time frames we have very big bearish trends how our trading friends or you trading friends can use this strategy let's say daily chart on bitcoin is uh, bullish or one hour candle is bullish but if you go low time frames like 30 seconds or one minute you see at this moment you have bought bitcoin but it's going against you so how can you benefit of that situation too if it is a very good bearish trend on low time frame it's saying that we have very very high opportunity to make profits and that's all about the business all right we begin with the first part and the first part is which data came out or are relevant for bitcoin here we see here that we had the u.s trade balance it was the number is a little bit lower minus 68.9 billion versus estimated 66.9 billion it's bringing a little bit the us dollar under pressure but much more importantly we have us unemployment claims that's bigger that's good for dollar and we had also the US job cuts meaning is very dangerous now the number is very big and that's not looking too good for the US economy it's a very important sign that recession is coming and also a sign that Fed is not going or is not willing to to cut the rates and that's of course very good for the US dollar the US dollar is very very important instrument while trading markets tomorrow we'll have also some important data you can keep a look at it uh, US average all earnings non from payroll very very important and US unemployment payroll will be published at 8.30 in uh, new york time or if you are in europe um, in great britain about 1 30 pm and in other european countries at 2 30 pm now we have some reportings here now they are for the first time all the news agencies were talking about uh, while the Bitcoin price dropped and they were talking hey, it will go to 200k or 100k or whatever now for the first time they started to think and to use their brains here is a news I don't agree with that 
Bitcoin price remains sideways amid strong profit realization and that's totally wrong because we are in a bearish trend. We are not anymore in a sideway. Uh, the four and five weeks lowest low has been hit and also on monthly bar we are we have made a new low low that's an indication now of, um, for traders who are midterm or longer term they should be very very worried about that bitcoin is bullish so i'm sure traders that are trading on those charts they are surely short if they are good traders and they follow their strategy then fed harker 30 minutes ago was saying and that was the reason that uh, bitcoin went up suddenly this is one of the reasons fundamentally and now look what exactly i said he's saying inflation is still too high what does it mean it means with other words if you wish that we cut the interest rates you are living in a very big dream bubble so this is the fundamental part and now we go fast to the next part if you have been watching my last two videos especially the video i did yesterday and the last two days bitcoin big bull trap is coming soon and also the big short we see now on the weekly basis right that's exactly this point of the gap not only yeah we need to fill this weekly gap we need to fill this daily gap then the market and this is the stage i show you then the market is go higher and now the trap is perfect right so i don't have to mention this and also here low value area and therefore the market is going up and then falling back so i am at but you can also see or watch the other video bitcoin series especially this one and this one from the beginning to understand why the bitcoin is behaving right now why it is doing it okay now we go uh, again to the chart and we can see now that's exactly happening again this is the law of yesterday this is the open price uh, I'm sorry this is the law of today and then uh, during Asia session the market made a new low low uh, or maintained the low of today and now the market is going for the day high if you look at the clock we see now because America has been opening so we wait also until the mid time so around 12 to 1500 um, US time it could be very very interesting what we can see here is that currently the market is today in also the high the market at this moment is doing is not a rally right it this is all happening just today so the market is making its own um, day low as the market does so uh, us is opening the market makes a day low maybe going then a little bit upward before it's going to make then low low if you make this picture now a little bit bigger so we have here then another picture completely other picture we are now here right where the market is going a little bit higher that's no way a rally or the beginning of a rally so this is today the today's range so i will do it this way this is yesterday and this is three days and this is four days so that way and if we take now the four days this is a very big candle here then the candle of yesterday is that way candle 
of, of two days ago is that way this is yesterday and currently this one is until here right so these are four candles so this is today candle this is yesterday candle this is two days ago and this is three days ago and we see now the high of the last three days the high of the the low of the last three days and we see we are in a very big three-day range in a bearish trend because the market came from here so of course it can possible that the market goes higher until this high or even going higher until this high and even if the market is coming down to the three and four day low <coughs> we are still in this very big range or the inside day right so this is inside this is outside candles and this or are inside candles for people who are trading on lot uh, on higher time frames for example 30 minutes one hour and so on it will be very very difficult to trade this the better for traders who are in uh, low time frames they can wait the time each time the market is coming here and building these patterns maybe higher highs and higher lows we exactly know this is a fight zone we wait until the market is leaving this range down and then we can sell for bulls it can be also very interesting maybe if the market is coming down here we see then we have then higher highs higher lows meaning the market makes a new low then it, it makes a new high then the next low is low low below this low but the market then makes higher highs above this one so a megaphone we wait until the market leaves this range and then we can buy so our target where can we put that for example at the day high right if the market is going to break possibly possibly but you need to wait until the market doesn't come back into this range if the market is going up then the next profit target will be here the same here the market is going high it's not coming back the next profit target is here and so on right so this is only based on candles and most importantly what we can see here is exactly like the video i did yesterday exactly right so we are in this low value so the market is now going to fill this value we have here very strong resistance levels so once reaching this one we can be coming to this low value area the market needs to fill that and therefore we will have very slow moments here for people who are now trending the bearish trend they should wait a little bit until the market is going higher making or building then these struggles and then to sell higher to get down for the bulls if they are waiting today that they should be very careful if the market is going higher maybe building then these patterns to break down or the market breaks up building a bearish flag and then the market comes down again why because we have here at this area very very strong bears but we have very very low bearish volume and now i'm coming to my to the strategy i wanted to tell you that's a very very old strategy but very extremely simple to trade that based on some market indicator first of all you open these caps where you can read bars candles hollow candles and so on and now trading view made a new candle type it's called volume candles right it's exactly the same as you are using the candle indicator the problem with candle indicator is that people for example use um how can i say and standard one right so mostly and those candles need to be updated very very late the difference of these candles 
or the volume candles is that you exactly right the moment you are trading you see what the real volume of the market is based on the time frame you are trading at right let's say we want to see the bitcoin on daily basis volume and we see now the volume of today is a little bit bullish and two days ago where we had this big trend we had very bearish volume then the day after here is where we made then the new high and then uh, the day after or hours later then the market started to drop down right so meaning now bearish volume is coming in then if we go now to one hourly chart time frame we see yeah that's struggling a little bit but the last hours have been bullish right we see here the green candles have been bullish and this is then the range of yesterday i was talking about right this drop for example if you are trading then on higher time frames we can use this combining with our strategy and now we see okay the market sentiment is bearish right so that way and now and this is very dangerous what i'm saying because a lot of people see this right i make it a little bit bigger for you so the yeah that way all right so we have a wedge here and now a lot of traders see this and they exactly fall into a very very big trap because the candle is just outside or the head of the candle the week of the candle is outside of this rand they say oh it's living out it's living out it will go up so be aware of that that's very very dangerous you need first of all to wait until the candle is coming up right then you need to wait a reaction the candle has to close outside if the close is inside this bar then it means that we will go the other way, right? So this is the first way you can spot break out. And then if we go now on low time frame, I mainly trade this pattern on low time frame 30 seconds. And we see now the market is making now or going higher. We are at the day high, especially here but we see the market has struggles right it's not making higher highs or if it's going higher the volume bars are becoming smaller so we want to compare this for example we see here we had a big momentum here a good green candle bar right the next momentum was here too the next one here the next one here the next one here but the higher the market goes now the candles are becoming hmm, I, I would say very thin weak not looking so good and we see now if we compare it we see now the bearish volume bars are becoming more thicker right here they have been thin or small red volume bars and now they are becoming bigger and bigger right so and to do this we need only one indicator we go to the trading um, scripts and then we type then EMA and then the first one moving average exponential we need eight pairs of them and then we click on that so this is the ema in color meaning each time the price is below the emas uh, it's um, displaying red color meaning um, we are in a bearish so the first two we put on the settings are 
like this, right? Um, we put it at one hour. The length of the candles, the length at 200, time frame one hour, and then you go to source and you click on source and you click on high, right? Meaning then this SMA or EMA is then plotted only to the highs, the, to the daily highs. The next one you do is the same 200 lengths, one hourly time frame. The source is low. Now we have, first of all, the direction of the major trend. Then the second pair is similar, the same. Length 300, we plot the first one to high, the second one to low. Lengths of both are 300, but the time frame is 15 seconds, right? Because we are trading on 30 second time frame. So we need an intermediate, a big trend, a fast trend, and an entry trend, right? Where to get profit and where to get out or to enter the market. So the second one is length 300. Plot one of the EMAs to high, the other one to low, and time frame is 15 seconds, okay? The third one is EMA 200, length 200, but this time time frame 10 seconds, 10 seconds. This is this one, right? So one we plot to the low and the other one to the high. And now we have a clear picture. We are in a bearish trend. How do we know we are in a bearish trend? If we go upside, we see that the price is below our early EMAs. So we are in a bearish trend. But currently the market is trying a pullback or a bullish pullback out of what reason? The trend is bearish, right? But on low time frame, the market is now going up, right? So we can spot, for example, now we can use our other indicators. Every time, let's say the market is above these EMAs, all EMAs are green. We go long, we stay in the trend, right? Until the EMAs or our EMAs take reverse and the price coming down makes a pullback and the color of all EMAs are red, then we go short and at that level we can take profit or we can start to sell, right? This is the first way. The second way is we add two other EMAs, but this time the length is the same, 200. We plot one of them to the high, one to the low, but the time frame is this time one second. The time frame is one second, right? And this EMA, the fastest EMA on the same time is telling us the momentum of the market based on the last 200 seconds. We can also change that second to 15, whatever. But I'm using a little bit big numbers, so we don't have too many ups and downs, but we have a clear picture. That's very important. Now, how can we use it? In a bullish trend, we can spot the market, let's say, before we start the market, we make a trade plan, first of all, each time the price is above all EMAs and each time the EMAs are green and we have a green volume bar. We take a trade, we buy. Our stop loss, we can put, for example, based on our capital, let's say about 0.5%, right? Or 
we can put it below the last swing, right? Just this way. And I will now to demonstrate it. So, and the second part of the strategy is we need to define, are we taking profits or are we trading the trend? In this case, first of all, I will show you we trade the trend, right? We don't take profit taking. We go into the market, we leave the market if the trend changes or one of the bigger color, not the two, one second, EMA, but the others are becoming red. Then we leave the market and we wait for another entry. The market has already built a bullish momentum. The volume is green, also this one, right? So we can take a trade. We put our stop below the last swing and we let it run. And we see these are the moments traders are scared, for example, sometimes if the market then, if they are in a trade, the market comes down. Please stay always with your strategy, whatever happens, yes? And in backtest, you can improve that, right? <coughs> Until you are not sure about the strategy, backtest it. Write down your trade plan and plan, uh, your trade plan and trade your plan, always. Plan your trade, trade your plan. Now we see the market has struggled. The momentums are bear, um, are bullish. And we have two exit routes. The first one is the hard one. If the stop hits. The second one is if the price, for example, is coming below these EMAs and one of these is becoming red and we automatically take out the trade. I, if I would use this strategy, then I would, for example, immediately trade my stop to the break even at that level, for example, because it's sometimes special in low time frame can happen, the market then goes up. In this case, we have not or we have been missing to take that profit, but we leave the market without making any losses, right? So you need to have the, uh, a good calculator to calculate your commissions. The spread of the markets are, of course, very, very important. And last, not least, is the commission you pay, right? So we see now, Okay, the, it touched the EMA, but the EMA didn't change the color. So we stay in this trend. And we stay objective, right? Even the market is making this very big move, we don't fall in emotional traps like saying, yeah, it can go now to 100. No, remember we are trading the trend of the day or inside the day. So if you like, we can 
to train now the stay um, the stop higher to the lows or even to the high it depends then on how much of the profit we want to have so i think you got the idea right this is the sim now here we get a very big question right so we big we have a very big question the question is if for example you are watching this video right you make you implement this trading strategy and you see this candle you go into the candle the market comes down you go oh shit david brasco is motherfucker and this strategy is not working right the same here for example we have this situation also here also here also here also here right you see um, at, let's say you get in here and then this move down happens you get out the market runs exactly in this direction right so well if you do that with this strategy and the market is going down against you you have two possibilities the first one is wait then for the bars see how long they go if they touch then the emas the ama colors are green yes or no you can get in the second one is much more better the f mm, second uh, idea and this is the fast momentum we have right let's say we have the situation like here you see okay the trend is up the market made this um, swing high the momentum was red it's going here but we are not making a high high right so you see they are at the same level now we want to see okay if the market is going to break that and coming down and maybe going up right and then we wait a little bit So it's going back then to the EMAs. It broke one. It was a good decision of us not to go in the market. We wait now. And we see now for the first time the market is above. and we are in profit why did we do that because we have been we have sound that also the price here is below the momentum the fastest momentum we have been waiting for the bar we took the trade we can now because this high is broken so this low is valid unless this high is not broken this low is not valid but this law is valid so if you want we can for example put our stop here below this one even this one or if we are taking bigger risk then we're putting then our stop here right so that way we can spot if it could be a breakout or a fake breakout right now the last method is for high professionals who are familiar with volume that's a little bit harder but it works very very good and here we have added volume profiles on 30 second chart and now if we look at this we see for example let's say here the market came down to a certain level right the market at this price here it was at this price even it was below the red 
EMA, the market went up, right? On the same time is happening in a bull, the market comes here, the lows are becoming less and then the market goes down, right? All right. So why is this happening? Because these prints are objective, right? So these EMAs, all we have here, we have created now, they, these are subjective. We made the market like we want to see the market. So this is subjective, right? This is based on our wishful feeling. Every kind of trading system we use manually is subjective, based on how we would like to see the market. But this one is objective. It doesn't matter what you or I am thinking. It is what it is. It says that 75% of the market volume is led by only 10 to biggest, richest, most powerful guys of the world. And they move the market. And they say the price is here. We don't accept it. We want to have the price going back. To what point? Well, to the POC, right? Got to see here. So, and now it means we come at the market. We see the previous POC is here. The other one is here. And this is the current one, right? If the market is moving among the current one, we just focus on the last period. If we look, we would like, right? We can, for example, say if the price comes below the last POC, then getting up again above the last POC, then we enter the market here. We can also say we wait until the price comes down below the POC of the last two periods. And then we enter here, right? We can also say the market comes below the last three or four or whatever. The POC of the last three and two are the same. If we go for the fourth one, then it would mean it would mean that the price is going below the period uh, POC of the last four periods and then we enter the market here. This is the first and on the same time all our EMAs have this big one, not this one. All our EMAs, this one, must have green color. If the price is coming down here, but let's say this EMA or this EMA are becoming red, this one is green, this one is green, it means it would be a fake out it's time first to, to take a time out, time out and to stay out. Okay, so rule number one, all EMAs have to be green if you are going bullish. And then we need to define and to do it again and again. Each time the price is coming below the POC of the last period or two second period, whatever, you define it by yourself. The, the EMAs have to be green. The price should go above the last POC and the volume bar has to be green. Then we have good confirmation probabilities the market will go up. All right. So Let's say, for example, it happened here at this bar, the market went up, right? Okay, the POC was here. So, and in this case, we can work with profit target. That works very, very good. 
So it was the interest here. The market went up. Everything was green. The market came down, came down. Didn't go below this level, below our entry. We stay in. The market goes up. Then the market is now here. If this price is going below this POC, we manually close the position. So the advantage is we don't wait until the market hits our stop because the market is going down, right? So on automatically, the color of this EMA will become also red. That's an indication the market is in a bearish mood, but we want want to be or want to stay bullish, right? And we have seen, ah, okay, the market is going down up now. We, we want to go up, the market coming down. And, but if we go into the market now here, maybe the market coming down, right? So we will risk then this amount of capital. The market is running against us. So, and now we want to see how it's working. And therefore I use now, I place this horizontal line here at the POC of the last period, right here. This one, if the market coming down here, getting up and we have green volume bar and the EMAs are green, then we go long or we want to take a long trade. So we see now the market built a new volume profile. Now, this one is not valid anymore. The last, the price is here, right? We are in this period. What POC is now relevant to us? This relevant, this one is relevant, right? So, meaning now we set it higher. If the price coming down here, we do nothing. If the price going up this level, then we buy somewhere here, okay? Now we see our entry line is down. Why? Because the market is building a new period. So the POC moved down to here. Now we have the conditions, right? Because the market is above the last POC, the bar is green, the candle, uh, the EMAs are green. So we risk a buy. We put our stop below the last swing price. Right, <clears throat> and now we see the market is working for us. Now, which POC is relevant to us? I move it here. So, this is the period, the current period. This is the current price. Now, the POC moved from here to here, meaning if the price coming down below this one, we automatically take out the trade hopefully then with some profits. We can also trade now our stop from here to here immediately. 
it would be then a break even or a trailing stop so somewhere below here and therefore it shows also if we go long here it would not be a good idea because the volume is less and then possibly the price can come down very well and now it's time to take out the trade so i did it a little bit late the period has been finished new period is here then it means this POC is relevant to us so the emas are all green so stimulus is bullish but the price is below our possible entry right so automatically we should then trail our stop here we don't want anymore that the market hits our trailing stop and we take out the trade with some profits and we wait for a new situation Okay, now our entry will be here. EMAs are green, the price is above, but the volume bar is red. Now we can get a long. And there are some people who are not putting stops you can see what can happen if you do yeah i did i didn't put any stop i wanted just to show you what happens if do, you don't protect your capital you were long here the market came down right so we should take out the trade here we didn't do that this is a lack of discipline but most importantly right we should put a stop here this was this low wasn't valid so the next low was here right and also the other rule we said if for example an EMA is becoming uh, red we should immediately get out right so now some say yeah but it was a good decision i do that because then the market went down exactly because we say it because we see the market bars but what would you say if the market with this sudden move would go much more deeper would you also follow your opinion right this is the problem a lot of trade traders have therefore 90 percent of traders or in my opinion much more traders losing money because they just miss these very very simple rules okay so if the price coming down below this level immediately get out take that loss if you don't want it put in any case a stop in any case whatever happens right better you take this loss from here to here than you take this loss what is ruining 50 percent 70 percent 80 percent of your account all right so and this is on lower time frame so a lot of people are doing it uh, without stops on bigger time frame that's very very sad to see that so we put a hard stop
So, and we see then, if we would have been taking this stop, right? For example, we should get, got stopped out. We took the loss, but we have been waiting for our entry here. And as long as the price, this bar, for example, not this one, but this one was green, but before, and above this POC, we would then enter the market bullish again, and then the market would reward us, meaning we have been taking the loss from here to here, or even here, does didn't matter, but the market is going now higher, and the market is giving us that loss again, and also some profit, right? Therefore, rules and discipline always matter. So in this case now, we, then this is then the re-entry line. We can, for example, now after this move, we can then trail or stop then to break even if we want. We can put the stop below the entry line or now this low is relevant, right? This one is now relevant because we have broken that, okay? Un unless this low wasn't broken, this low wasn't valid. This one was valid, okay? But now we see with this bullish candle, the market broke this zone. Automatically, this low is becoming valid and we can use it to put our stop below, all right? So, meaning the market is not going to test it at this moment, maybe later, but not now. So, they're waiting now for a new period. Now, another trader is watching my video and he is exactly at the same situation. What do you think? Where should he enter the market? Should he enter the market bullish here? Should he sell the market here? Should he wait until the market is coming down to this level? Or should he wait until the market tests this level, this one, or go below it and see what happens if it's coming up again? So in my opinion, maybe it's better that he waits until the market comes to our entry, right? Because this is the rule. So you can, of course, change the rules just the way you like it. And then we do it again. We wait now for a new period establishing. And a new period is establishing. That's good. Now our trader who is in the business knows if the market is going above the yellow line, being green, then he can take a bullish trade. To us, it means if the market is coming down, we take profit because we are long here, right? What we do now, so we have been taking this trade from here to here. Got to see that. So, and now we want to re-enter long again. And before we go now, we ask ourselves, if we go long, where do we put our stop loss? So that way, we have a low here, we have a low here, but this low is not valid, right? So the low is not valid. And the next low is here. If we go long here, we have a long way down on low time frame. still we are. And here comes your capital pro um, protection, meaning, okay, if I put the low below here, right? And let's say I get in, the market makes this move, coming back, making this move, 
and coming down right and my stop is still here right then I calculate the maximum stop or the maximum loss on low time frame for every trade to me should not be bigger than 0 0.5 one percent so not one percent zero point one percent if I put my big stop here and let's say the number is zero point zero point five that's okay because it's not it's less than zero point one right if it's bigger then 0.1 percent then i don't take that trade i wait better time or i can for example minimize the positions i am constantly going into market right i have a random number let's say one percent of the account i trade every time in that case then i want to take this trade what would be very crazy because I see, okay, the market has difficulties to break these highs, right? So we get then in the market, instead of 1%, we put 0.5% of our account to buy Bitcoin. And then we see, aha, uh -huh, okay, now the stop is much more less than 0.1%, right? And the second rule is, if the market comes below the red the green the yellow line are immediately take out that trade because then i see that trade is not working so you see in my strategy we have different point of views when we enter the market where our entry is confirmed how do we protect the capital how do we put stops and risk management and how we can variate that right trading is not just buying selling putting stop anyway of that there are some uh, more questions you need to write in your playbook right so i call it my playbook when i whenever i'm to i'm day trading i have different playbook scenarios like you are playing a game against another team right let's say we want to take this trade the emas are green the volume bar is red and we see the market is coming down now because the new period has been started our entry is less down we wait is not closing we wait for the green bar okay here we can get in and now we see which low right before doing that we need to mention that right so is this low now valid which law is valid? Yeah, the period now, the stop, we can put here because, and now we should take out the trade. I don't do it. We should take it because it's below and you see we got hit, right? You have seen exactly. If we don't follow our rules, we get hit, you guys, all right? So the next period, so our stop got hit we had to take out this trade here immediately we didn't do that we became greedy and the market said you are greedy okay i am much more greedy i hit you after you learned it right all right now we must wait if this should be our entry the next period will show us or if this one is still our entry right so we got the loss is not the world but we have to learn of the mistakes and i'm showing all, all the sides 
if I'm showing you something, I, I am not showing you the winning side. I am showing you also the losing side of the market, guys. That's the difference because that's reality. And okay, the market is up. We get in because the entry line is now here, right? So we can get in. Where do we put our stop? We need to have it clear. We put it here because the last possible swing was here. Then we need to, um, to go a little bit more down. So I put it here. All right. Now let's go see what happened. The price down should we stay, should we go? We follow the strategy, we get out. Okay. So we take a loss manually. We don't let the market hit or stop. We take the little loss. We get in. Yeah, we can. We put our stop. All right, so this was an example of bullish trend. So the price of now Bitcoin is 67,724. We see in the meantime, the market went back. So a lot of people were bullish here, but the entry has been here. Now, for example, let's say we buy the market here. Where should we put our stop? A lot of people are putting their stops here, guys right and that's wrong I tell you why it's wrong you know it because this level came from here to here right from here to here from here to here right so this way meaning that level is not broken on the other side the market is making building at the day high levels a low high local high if we compare to that one this is the current situation you can check it right so I would wait and for the first time our EMAs has been hurt in red now we can say okay the market may be resting and then getting through we can take a buy and if breaking that level right we can put our stop here. If we buy here, if we buy here, then I would put my stop here, below here, at around 65,680. And that means what happens if the market comes down, right? So better wait now, right? But that's up to you. And we see momentum, momentum is down now. Now I am going to show you uh, bearish trade and then saying goodbye and in a bearish trade we exactly do the opposite right if the price let's say we want for example to enter the market somewhere below the yellow line it would be here right we see here the EMAs are becoming red we have a red volume and the price is below our last POC we can take the trade we can put the stop here or better here right we let it then ride then we see here in the period the market came up broke all EMAs now a lot of people start to think oh rally begins get they faked out and the market fell and <coughs> if we use our concept we see hey at this level this is the previous POC we should re-enter short right but the market runs up <coughs> and then it's coming down in a current period 
then the market comes down now our entry automatically would move higher we wait for a red bar and then let the market get down right so how long for example we can see if we would then enter the market here so i make it a little bigger so we avoided that we get faked out or a bull trap catches us and let's say here here we went short right this is our short position then the market then the poc is here okay the next takeout would be here then the price is below then the market goes deep but coming down here coming up here we stay in the trend and now the price is going here and now exactly at this level the POC is shifting higher meaning we take profit right on that way we could then take a good bearish trade here and we wait then next time the market for example comes down below this line we go short but it didn't happen the market went higher then the entry moved from here to here and then here then we would get out uh, we would enter the market short again and we see at this period the market broke that level everything was all right the red the volume bar was red the ema is now red again right here we had then another bull trap so in that way then where should we put our stop which level has been broken then we would for example put our stop somewhere here right so based on this one because this level was broken this level is not broken and then we wait if this level is broken of this low is broken then we can trail our stop here right and we see then what happened later the market went down went down in this period here was and here we automatically before the bull trap began we took the next bearish profit right so you see it doesn't matter if the market is the general sentiment of the market is bullish or bearish right on higher time frames or trend followers or every party if you say i'm sending people attacking you if you say i'm buying people attacking you don't mind about them it. it's just opinions right it matters on which time frame you are trading right and we see in a bearish market we have bearish periods but we also have bullish periods guys see that this is the last two days right you see there are bulls too they want to make money why not so and we can take advantage what i am doing is i in a bearish market if fundamentals my technical analysis everything is bearish but in short term time frames like this i don't take these trades i just do it sometimes just for fun right because i'm bored or why bored or whatever i wait until then this setup starts to become bearish and then i add my positions meaning now we have for example the daily time frame we have the four hour time frame we have hourly time frame then we have five to 15 minutes time frame and last not least my 30 second with this setup all right so then this was the bullish currently down 
this was then the four hourly i wait currently down the hourly two currently down then the 15 minutes is up i wait until it's bearish too and then here just here at least this is my timing right i wait until the market then and if these are my emas here this one and this one i wait until the market comes down and then somewhere around here then i start to sell the market down again so that way i have then the probability of higher time frames which are very very impactful and powerful and also my low time frame every time frame in my in my favor and of course losses can happen also in this situation you have very big 99 percent of the market probability everything can happen right therefore i use my stops therefore i use my entries and exits and my follow all the time my strategy and most importantly my rule okay i hope i could help you with this video and if you have some questions you can comment it below this video or ask me in trading view if you like you can subscribe this channel um, hit the notification bell also on your mobile device should you get updated automatically and like this video maybe for algorithm if you like it yeah so if you don't like it then okay you can come back here watch the videos for free all right have a great day have a good winning day and have a lot of fun with trading